Hello and welcome to a video on a game that, well, I guess the single player only really, um, but I have doubled, dab, doubled, dabbled a bit with the multiplayer previously, um, but yeah, the single player game of Killzone Shadow 4 is a game that I absolutely fucking despise. Uh, I'm going to show you a select chapter just to show you that I have been through all of these levels and complete the game. Um, what we're going to start with, we're going to start with a new campaign. I'm going to go easy mode because my main gripe with this game is just the fucking difficulty. But it's not a natural kind of intuitive difficulty level I guess, um, if that makes sense. It's just fucking cheap deaths left, right and centre. Um, <clears throat> and I want to skip this video. There we go. Um, yeah, so positives out of the way. This game does look stunning. Um, unfortunately, I feel that that is at a detriment to the gameplay because the whilst the game seems to maintain a sort of constant 25 I'd say 25 frames per second, it doesn't quite feel like 30. Um, the, yeah, the, it feels kind of a bit slow to control. Um, but yes, it does allegedly run in 1080p in the single player mode, true 1080p so they reckon, although there was a bit of controversy and apparently the multiplayer runs at 720, like upscaled 720p to achieve um, 1080p. So this is the start of the game that I've jumped in on and uh, I don't remember hating this bit too much. There is nice scenery and things to begin with. Well it's not really nice but it's it's cool. Um, where, did, where was I going to? Looks like, uh, Oh yeah, there we go. Well, over the ledge is a little child. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, but as the game goes on, it just goes so fucking drab. Um, I remember the first Killzone game was kind of cool. You know, you're sort of on... You were fighting in locations that you could sort of relate to. This game... It just... Everything ends up looking the same. I actually had to hammer up the the gamma in the options to fucking see where I was going and stuff as well which annoys me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not really that the game is broken or anything like that because it's certainly not. I think it achieves what it sets out to achieve but I just don't like the game, I can't stand it. Um, single player anyway. Um, the, the multiplayer, I do remember thinking it was okay, it was certainly no Call of Duty or Battlefield, but it wasn't that bad. Um, so I think um, I'm gonna actually quit because I forgot that you play as a child at the start. Um, because this game pisses me off that much that originally. Um, more like it I think. Um, yeah originally this was, I think this was actually the first um, full kind of physical game that I got for the PS4 and I actually sold it when I got to, stuck on chapter 7 um, because I didn't really like the game as you can probably tell, um, still don't like the game and I just got stuck on this bit that was, oh it was, it was the bit where you kind of um, floating down kind of descending into some fucking, I don't know what it was, some bullshit, uh, <laughs> not a very good description there, um, yeah I got stuck on that and I was like oh fuck this game, so I just sold it, um, and then when I was in Kex, Smally, Smally Kex aka C-E-X, recently I thought, I saw it for 8 quid and I was like you know what I'm going to pick that up and complete that game, um, and yeah, I most of the time I've just been screaming at the TV, fucking shit game. 
I kid you not, over and over again, fucking shit game. This game is so fucking annoying. It's unbelievable. Um, so, I mean, it's not too bad at the moment, but what happens later on in the game is you've just got enemies coming from kind of every angle, and then you get these enemies that have got shields that you have to kind of use a, your secondary fire mode to get rid of or use your um, owl robot thing this thing here that you can order to do things um, and yeah you're trying to fuck about with your owl and you're just getting fucking decimated um, the you know the controls just aren't slick enough for me um, the analog control isn't linear enough it seems to have a kind of a bit of acceleration on it um, which I don't like it's that sort of um, analog look where look control where it starts off slow and then suddenly ramps up. So it's, it's fucking horrible. Um, obviously, you can adjust the um, adjust the sensitivity sensitivity of the analog stick, but it's it's more. The curve, more the kind of curve of the sensitivity and acceleration of the analog stick that I don't like with this game. Um, and we've got weapons. All of the weapons are just a bit dull. Um, yeah, I mean this is pretty much my least favourite. Um, PS4 game, I just don't like it. It's a shame because if they'd have made it just a straightforward point A to point B shooter, um, to be honest, I would have had a lot more fun with it um, than I have had. I've just had despair and misery from this game. I can't even remember what it's supposed to do here. Um, I mean there is you know a kind of stealth element to this game that you can use but I find that the locations are just so dull further on in the game that I just have no interest in sneaking around them and I just want to shoot cunts in the head because I'm just annoyed by the locations There is an annoying aspect to this game as well, which is as many annoying aspects. But it's the one where you look at a bright light, kind of like here, and that like pretty much literally blinds you in real life because the TV is shining so brightly at you, which is emphasised when um, And like I say, I had to turn up the uh, the gamma in the game so that I could uh, actually see where I was fucking going. I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to call like a fucking ship or some shit. Um, the more walls. Look at the textures. Um, yeah, so pretty nice high resolution uh, it's not supposed to hack in here I can't remember I do prefer in fact the PS, Ver PS, Ver PS Vita um, Killzone game Killzone Mercenaries I did kind of enjoy that um, although it was a very easy game I do enjoy easy games um, Hence why I don't enjoy this one. I mean, it's easy at the minute, but it just turns to utter fucking bollocks. Uh, 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 uh. Tell you what, let's <laughs> quit this bollocks. And. Uh, 
Yeah, this one, whatever this Good. is. Good. Yeah, I want to skip your shit videos. The story's bollocks, as you would expect. Then again, I think that pretty much all video game stories are bollocks. I think Halo's story's bollocks. The resistance uh, story is basically bollocks. And look at the, uh, the little loading bar thing there, it doesn't actually move. Yeah, pretty much everything later on in the game is just this same fucking colour palette. And I'll tell you another thing that really, 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 really ground my fucking gears. Um, after chapter 9, the credits roll and then the, the transmission of the credits is kind of interrupted because that's not the last level, there's another level. And like you're cheering like, yes, that fucking shit game's finally over. And, uh, yeah then you have to play another fucking level. Luckily the level is kind of short if you know what you're doing and pretty easy to complete, but... Oh, this game. I fucking hate it. And it's a shame because it has... It had so much potential. Um, and it was kind of highly rated when it came out, but I think it's... One of those kind of perfect dark zero... Um, moments if you remember perfect dot zero the xbox 360 uh launch title people are going to look look back at this and be like well, yeah this was the perfect dot zero the fucking ps4 because this game's shit um and yeah it just sort of could have been so much more um but it's just a cheap annoying kind of clear an area do the next area with kind of annoying controls tacked on. I mean, I'd rather just fuck the owl thing right off. Um, you probably won't know what, even know what the owl is from this video, unless you've played the game, and then you'll know what it is anyway. Um, yeah, fuck the owl off, so you don't have to use a stupid fucking touchpad, um, which is clunky to use in combat. Um, the game probably would have been better running at 720p with a, you know, 50-60 frames per second. Um, and just make the game, take the stealth element out and just make it an action, full blown action shoot. Because the stealth, it just doesn't fucking work for me. It's just too drab and I just really don't care for the Killzone universe. They gripped me with the first game until about halfway through and then that went dull as fuck on the old uh, PS2 and this one I don't know if it didn't grip me at any point to be honest um, I just hate it so yeah I'd like to know what other people's um, opinions are on this game um, whether there was anybody else out there who was disappointed by this game and you know if there's anybody else who's just got a severe hatred for this game i mean like i say the multiplayer is not bad i'm talking about the single player here um but killzone is obviously not a game renowned for multiplayer um so yeah let me know what your opinions are obviously this is just my opinion you might think this is the best game ever but uh, unfortunately I don't. Um, would I recommend picking it up for 8 quid like I did? Um, I'd say only because it's a current gen game I'd say yes. If it was on the 360 or PS3 and it was this shit and annoying and irritating I'd say no but it's a bit of filler for your current gen collection and it, to be honest it's a disappointing PS4 exclusive for me.